from one live stream to another, back to back live streams, man. It's so good I had to come twice. So we live, are we live? Of course we're live. Apologies, people. I just said it's so good. It had I had to come, I had to come twice. And I mean, we could have made a very inappropriate joke there, but this is a child-friendly channel. At least it's at least it claims to be. Let me just do my normal intro because I wish we wasn't live now. People deluded. I'm back again. I hope everyone's doing well and safe on this fine Wednesday afternoon. Now, I hope you're all moving that much closer to your goals, dreams, hopes and, and, and aspirations, wherever you guys are at in life, man. You know, again, if you're not having the week to remember, just remember you're stronger than your situations. And then just, you know, just try and be better than you was yesterday. Just try and move that much a little bit closer than you was yesterday today you know sometimes you have to judge life or what i've learned you have to judge life on the seeds you've planted rather than the crops you've harvested every day because if you do that as you lot know a farmer can't always do that so i hope you're all doing well and safe one love to everyone who's in my second live stream obviously for those of you who couldn't be in the last live stream i appreciate you lot for um for getting in this one as you lot know the good thing is youtube doesn't die there'll be timestamps and the rest of them and we're gonna get through a couple of things today obviously Latoura Martinez, whether it can happen or not, is another story, but we're going to cover it. Joe Willock's been linked with Monaco. We kind of have to circle back on Odegaard. The same goes for where Ben White is concerned, people. So it is what it is. I definitely not a pause thing. Could have been someone's baby mother. But yeah, man, you know, maybe when I blow, we can start making things like that. But big up live from Planet X. As usual, make sure you're subscribed on Twitch, please. Link is in the pinned message. Please make sure you've subscribed on Twitch. Please make sure you've subscribed here. You know, big up Curtis Shaw for being in my last live stream. Please make sure you subscribe to my homie. And he goes live at 2.30. So make sure you've set your reminders for them things. Obviously, check out the DG merch and all of these things. Links are in live pinned to the message. Live pinned pinned to the um, live message chat and all of those sort of things. Like I said, big up the Twitch gang, the moderators, the members, the, the, the new subscribers, the long-term supporters. I appreciate all of you lot, man. You lot have been driving the engagement levels crazy these last couple of days in relation to my content. I hope it can continue, you know, really and truly. If not, then it is what it is. We've, we've had a good, we've had a good run, haven't we people really and truly, you know, like the vid on the way in. I hope everyone has a blessed day. And I second, I second that, man. I hope everybody listening has a as as a day filled with a you know abundance. You know, first and foremost, physical health. Second of all, financial health and financial security. And I hope you all you know move that much closer to your to your aspirations. And if you've hit the like button, I definitely you know give you double that. If you haven't hit the like button, then yeah, you're gonna get expected unexpected better yet high bills. You know, boiler's gonna break. Galley gonna leave you. Man gonna leave you if you're a female you know things are gonna happen to you so hit the like button and bless yourself on that topic let me see what you lot are saying you're right the grind never stops man it never stops kelvin i hope you have a great day like he has said hope everyone is doing well have a great day people big up dg and the dg nation hope you all good big up dg back to back stream you've got to be you've got to do that man back in the building of course i'm day on my guy and i'm in good spirits and things like that like i just said american gun i'm in good spirits man I'm in good spirits. I'm blessed to have a supporter group like you lot. I'm blessed to have you lot who offer, you know, thought-provoking opinions and 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 whatnot, you know, just good people, you know. And, and one thing I like in a day and age where I don't, well, I have to speak about, I don't like to speak about, but, you know, racism and, you know, nationalism and, you know, rather than celebrating differences and, and all of these things, everyone wants to divide, whether that's race, background, religion, group and class in society and i like my my channel because obviously we've got all different people from different classes in society different colors different countries and we just celebrate the differences that's what life should be about man but unfortunately not everyone can think like us so yeah and not to talk about any other youtubers but a lot of youtubers got a fan base or subscribers and they just they're just echo chambers that, the, you know, it's just hot air coming out of the YouTuber. It's just hot air blowing out from the subscribers. So when we actually learn a thing, I like to think you lot learn from me and I definitely learn from you lot. I've got all the time in the world for it, people. And like I said, this would be, it doesn't feel like I'm ever working with you lot, you know. It would be mundane as hell if you lot were twats, but you lot actually know what you're talking about. So I appreciate you lot. Good morning, DG. When is the kit review coming out? You know the wickedest thing? You know what the wickedest, wickedest, wickedest thing is, my guy, yeah? I can see, I'm staring at it. Like I just haven't released it. I'm staring at it. Where is it? Yeah, look, watch. I'll give you an exclusive. DG exclusive. What? It's, it's not even letting me view on YouTube, is it? View on YouTube. 
share the screen, give you a little, little excuse, exclusive before we crack on and them things there, a little exclusive and that, you know, I had to bring out the old camera, where is it, you know, it's, it's, it's been a laptop business, but as you lot can see, the title will change, but like you can see, well, man's out here, bro, man's got that for you, my guy, man's, don't worry, watch that, man's got all of that for you, man, two kit reviews, man's got that for you, man, just soon land, man, just call, just wait, you know, it'll be done, man, soon land, soon land, for true. So it'll be here soon, Irvin, man. Appreciate you, though. But yeah, man, what are you lot saying? Before we crack on, man, I, you know, in the last live stream, obviously it's me and Curtis. I didn't really get to take in what you lot are saying. A man said it's coming Rome. Shout out to you, Italian fans. Big up the Italian ones locked in. I mean, it ain't got nothing to do with me. Man, support the icy freeze and the, the people for, that are not icy freeze that are like myself and the class. I might not really care about that in it, car. Like you're seeing now when England lose, you know, Saka's obviously, man, start talking about where his name comes from and his heritage, Rashford's heritage and in the background in South London. And Marcus Rashford, Moss side, you know, there's always a way of reminding man when things go wrong. So I don't really care in that regards. Big up everyone. A hundred likes is the target. There's a hundred and four of you locked in. Please make sure you hit that. Looking fresh with that number 13 DG on the back. Come on. Appreciative, man. A man said, chill out, DG. Can't be coming out shirtless when my girl's in the room. I like, man. You know, your, your girl's cool, man. We only try and beat the pagans, the pagans and the, and the haters, mums and, and galley and all them things. You know, I'd rather tap someone's mum because there's no coming back from that but anyways people what am i saying about latoro martinez we're going to get into it i hope it happens whether it happens or not is another thing and i think it's not but we can get into it if it doesn't hinder our strengthening elsewhere i'd love martinez i second that but i, I appreciate you james you're still of the belief of it would be arsenal to sign a next striker where I'm not saying there's not concerns up front because Lacazette's form, Aubameyang's form, we don't know what's going to happen there. We do need to look for a striker, but it would be Arsenal or something Arsenal would do to need to address the spine of this team better yet and then obviously go out there and, and sign a striker. But on the other hand, you know, we're not getting the best out of the attackers. You know, we're ninth for goals at the end of the day. We're ninth for goals in the league or was last season. Um, We'd sign Martinez, expect him to work the magic and then would be, you know, surprised he doesn't. And then it's all fun and games, you know. And then when you get past Martinez in that, our midfield, our defence is still looking hella shaky and all of those things. So again, I agree with that comment, man. Good way to start, Reese. You know, if it doesn't hinder us, why not, you know? I'm actually going to call the times that timestamp that if it doesn't hinder us, I would love Martinez. That's the first thing we're going to kick off with. Shout out to James, man. You know, that's the that's I'm actually actually called the timestamp that, you know, one thing I struggle with is titles and all of those sort of things. And you lot give it to me. Pepe, I know you're feeling yourself, but shout out to you. Hi, right back at you. You know, shout out to the Twitch gang and all of those sort of things. Sorry, people, I'm going to carry on. But I just want to know, has my other YouTube video actually uploaded and, and whatnot, people? This is the tricky thing about doing back-to-back -back lives. You've got to pay attention for when the next one's come out. And it actually has come out. So, yeah, people, please get your comments in and things like that. I just have to cater to the, quickly cater towards the people that are not in this live chat and those that miss my other live stream. And just insert the timestamps into this, people. So keep it going. I'm still here. You know, hit the like button if you haven't already. Shout out the Twitch gang. You know, Twitch are my favorites. I can't sit here and cap. I love the YouTube guys. You lot built me, but I can't lie. The Twitch gang, they're very impressive. They listen. They come out in abundance. They listen when things are told. You know, you tell them a certain time, they pull up. You YouTube guys are bougie with it, man. Tell you lot 11.30, man, are coming in here quarter to two, quarter to one and that. Sorry, I'm late, DG, and you know, all of this. It's all love, but it's cool. Um, I can't lie to you lot. I'm actually kind of tired. Not physically tired like I want to go sleep. Like my body is, well, physically tired, yeah. But yeah, I am physically tired. I've got training pre-season uh, later today people and i've been you know i've had pre-season on sunday i played football yesterday i also went to the gym i'm gonna do the same thing today probably do the same thing tomorrow probably do the same thing on friday whether it's wise is another thing but you've got to do what you've got to do man and for me we're going to be in the top division next year I'm just trying not to get ripped. Like, obviously people have bad games but i'm just trying not to get embarrassed man i'm trying to be fit i'm you know People want to put me on the shirt. Like, you know, when we play certain teams, I'm sure they, they're going to want to do get backs for the social media antics. Certain of us have been pulling, even though they did it first, people. But it is where it is. Cool. That's the monetization set. That's the times and time stamps. Sorry, set. This video can come off unlisted now. 
and go private. And then all I need to do now is refresh that and then make sure you're hitting the like button, people. Copy and paste the timestamps and then I can give you a lot more full wholehearted attention. And then because I'm such a nice guy, both of these live streams, if there's anything of significance, you know I'm going to cut it up and speak about it. Sorry, folks. You can hear my phone playing my last live stream. If you haven't checked that out, make sure you check that out and obviously support Curtis in any way you can. Again, specifically by, by subscribing and helping him get to 30k but we're moving back into this now we're moving back into serious business i don't know why notes has decided to open on my mac but it's calm back to back streams we're truly blessed no i am truly blessed to have you lot man big up jamaican gunner as well um yo dg how much do you think this don is gonna cost i'm hearing he has two year contract still donny just won copper american italian league really think we've got a chance i don't think we've got a chance you know but as long as you put money on the table who knows but we'll crack on, man. I just want to take in a bit more of what you lot are saying. Cause I love speaking to you lot, really and truly, if I'm honest with you. Can't find the previous stream. You can now because it was unlisted. You know, it's un. They say YouTube's best practices is to unlist the videos. Because obviously, long story short, the best way to describe it is obviously I'm just streaming via StreamYard, right? Now that's a live stream, and then obviously. YouTube has to do its processing. So sometimes it's not necessarily monetized or the timestamps can't be put in because it's processing. That's why I used to just unlist it. Then when it's patterned, it's there. Lately, I've just been leaving it. That's why you've seen when my thing is done, you know, it carries on. But I thought, let me go back to basic. So you should see it now, you know. And I am hearing, I am hearing there is a um, uh, a live stream, a live stream of well, I say live stream, Arsenal are playing Watford. I don't know if there is a live stream. I want to know if there's a live stream, you know. I don't know if there's Ars there's, there's information that Arsenal have put out. I do want to watch that, but I don't know, people. Beyond it being behind closed doors, or I assume, I don't know. Shout out to Callum Chambers, because apparently this is his, this is year seven of him being at this club. Crazy. You've been here longer than... Um, than, my, than Toby Alderweireld Viro was at Spurs. Mad thing. Big up to you, bro. Love the process, faith, consistency and hard work. Watching you while at work. Shout out to all the nine to fivers out there paying their bills and that. Hey, live from Planet X, Jason's mum, his sister, his grandma, his auntie, you know. Even them aunties that are not really family like, you know, his you know, his dad's brother's wife. They all can get it, you know. There's no, there's no love loss when it comes to war and things like that. Listening to the podcast whilst driving home. Big up, DG. Appreciative of that. But yeah, let me know your opinions on Latoro Martinez and all of those sort of things, people. Keep your opinions coming in and things like that. Let's crack on with the business. Like I said, people, there's 100 likes was the target. There's 200 of you locked in the last time I looked. Please make sure you're supporting the thing. So 13 minutes in, L Latoro Martinez. Now, for what it's worth, you know, I always say to you lot, again, especially when it comes to transfers, all we can do is humor ourselves. Now, whether it's going to happen is another thing, which I don't think is going to happen. You know, all we can do is humor ourselves. It makes it makes preseason go faster. It makes the time go faster. It just gives us something to talk about. Of course, I would love. I'm getting. I'm actually getting deja vu speaking about this. Maybe that's because I'm always here speaking about Arsenal, or it's because I've lived the previous life. But. For what it's worth, who wouldn't love Latoro Martinez? For me, I fell in love with him when I saw him at the Under-20 World Cup. Now, he didn't shell it out. Haaland did more than him. I think Haaland scored like six or so goals or something when they beat Taiti. Um, but And obviously, Millier was there of Leeds, the Leeds goalie, and he made a couple of mistakes. And you can check my old videos. Martinez is a fiery character. You know, he's got that South American fight. He's on the dark hearts. He's got ability. He's had a fantastic partnership with, Mart with, with L um, Lukaku. Like someone said, he's had a fantastic fantastic season. He's won the Coppa America. He's won the Italian League. For me, there isn't a thing Arsenal can offer you that Inter can't. I'd assume they're playing Champions League football, you know. You've won a league title. Arsenal can't offer you that. Obviously, there's the law of the Premier League. Arsenal might be able to give you decent finances. But from a footballing perspective, there's no reason to sign for Arsenal Football Club. So I don't think we're going to spend £77 million on Martinez. The, you know, it could happen just because that is Arsenal, isn't it? You, you, we need a striker, but we don't need a striker in comparison to other areas of our football field, you know, to sign a next striker. Um so that's the only reason I can see it happening. But on the other hand, it's not going to happen. You know, we haven't, if you're haggling over 60 odd million for Madison, you're not going to shell out 77 million on, on, on a position, which I'm not saying it's filled because he's better than what we have, a lot of what we have and definitely a Bamian in current form. But 
you know, you've got a lot of bodies there and you've not sorted out things. So I would love it, but there's not a single reason. I can't really see where we're going to find the money without addressing other areas. He's been linked with Manchester City and Barcelona in previous seasons and that's filtered away. So what that tells me is you keep doing your job and these other teams might filter back in for you. Who knows? I'm sure, you know, Griezmann and Martinez, this Martinez must be on some sort of list of potential backup signings with the with with other people if Harry Kane doesn't work out for example um you know if it was to happen I would love it but for what it's worth let me know your opinions as well Arsenal make approach to sign 77 million striker Latoro Martinez Arsenal have made an approach to sign into striker Martinez according to reports the uh, the Gunners are aiming to sign a new striker before the end of the window but are relying on off loading Lacazette first now Lacazette's actually been linked with Leon and we'll ca carry on with that so that tells you we can't do it in it we're struggling to get rid of a lot of players even this one here we for some reason Torreira's not left Xhaka has not completed that move to Roma you know uh, you still got the elephant in the room of William and Kalajanac. And again, you know, the pr I'm not one to talk about money and finances and it's not my money, but that's a mismanagement of wages. And we're in that catch-22. We can't really let players go because we need to bring in and we can't bring in players because we need to let players go. And the backdrop of nobody's really got money in the COVID market. Everyone doesn't want to overpay and everyone wants people to overpay for their players. I would, of course, prefer, you know, Martinez to Tammy Abraham. And things like that, because Martin is, I'm not saying Tammy's significantly, you know, he, I back, I think Lacazette is a better footballer if you give him and Lacazette a football. But if you was to throw them both into a random team from game week one to game week 38, who would have more goals? I think it's Tammy Abraham. But, you know, at this moment in time, I don't really want people that are not significantly better than what we have. If we sign Martinez, I could say, all right, cool, bin Lacazette. Maybe Balogun has to go out on loan. Um, you know, Martinelli might have to play on the wings a bit more. If not, then we might as well just work with what we've got. Martinez would be a good signing. But again, we need to address the areas we need to. Um, Apparently, Arsenal are looking at alternatives and according to the Telegraph, the club have made an inquiry to Inter about Martinez. The report indicates that Mikel Arteta is considering the Argentine international as one of his options for a new striker, but Inter are keen to keep the player at the San Siro. San Siro. Earlier this month, reports indicated that Inter were willing to sell Martinez if their €90 million Euro 77 asking price was met. And ironically, Tammy Abraham is still contracted to Chelsea. What the Chelsea need? A striker. I know it's all Haaland and Haaland this, but at some point either Haaland's going to make his way to Stamford Bridge or Chelsea have to concede you know what we can't get him so that's when you start looking at Martinez and who would you rather join you know yeah you can look at Arsenal the prestigious of what we once used to be but in terms of forward thinking where's the place to be where who could offer you anything close to what you've got at Inter is Chelsea they've won the Champions League they're playing in Europe you know Thomas Tuchel is more of a household name than Arteta you know there's, you know, they're a stronger team than us. They're expected to compete with the league, to go with Liverpool and City and things, the three primary teams. Arsenal can't offer you that. We can obviously offer you the law of what once was a big club. Obviously, our, like like you, Arteta is a Spanish speaker and Edu is South American, so they might be able to relate to you and things like that. We'll probably give you more money than Chelsea. Chelsea have more money than us to give people in wages, but... Chelsea have structure. We just seem like it's whatever you can hustle sort of thing. So we probably would overpay you. You know, there probably would be less expectation on you, at least where the fans aren't, where the fans are, con where the fans would have expectation on you. But the club might, you know, condone mediocrity at Chelsea. It's not quite that. So surely Chelsea have to turn their attentions to people like, like, like Martinez and things. So again, and, and, and I'd say even in today's day and age where I think if you scout a striker, there's always strikers. So I don't feel comfortable with saying there's no strikers on the market, but when you look at it, at least compared to previous years, there's not a widespread amount of quality strikers out there or decent little strikers in which there used to be. So again, Chelsea, the talent pool is small. Surely they're going to turn their attentions to Martinez potentially, um, City as well. Like, I genuinely think Griezmann and Martinez are on the list. So, Arsenal can be open to doing it however they much they want. And also, if this was to happen, you know, 19 goals, 11 assists and 48 last year, two years left on his deal. So, that's probably where the bulk of these rumours are happening. If this was to happen, then, like these articles have said, you can't do that without getting rid of Lacazette, without making a decision on William and Kalajanac, without forcing out some of the want away players, without getting fees and freeing up wages. It doesn't, well, based on, the, on what we hear, it would not make sense. So, 
I, I would love Martinez, as I keep saying, but it's not going to happen, people. And it's gone on to talk about Tammy Abraham. We all know that we would like Tammy Abraham on loan. We all know that the alleged asking price is £40 million. Arsenal make inquiry for interstar Latoura Martinez as Mikel Arteta looks at alternatives to bolster his strike force after Chelsea demand £40 million for Abraham. Now, for me, I said it last season and I'll say it again. I think Arteta likes Eddie Nketiah. I think he likes Aubameyang. I think he likes Lacazette. You know, and I think, you know, what he likes about Aubameyang, Lacazette don't have in his arsenal. What he likes about Lacazette, Aubameyang's not able to do it and doesn't have it. And Eddie, if you can find it, tell me. But the same, because they've all had different sort of phases playing through the middle, but none of them have been the number one. And I've previously said it. I, I, you lot can go through my streams. I, and you lot have said it as well. If all the areas are addressed, I genuinely believe Martinez would go, you know, they would go for a striker. So I can see the links. Also, on top of Martinez, for me, you want to, you know, Playing at Chelsea, it looks more attractive, you know. Behind you, you've got Havertz, you've got Mount, you've got Kovacic, Jorginho, Kante screening. With exception of Kante, you've got these people providing you goals and that, you know. You, you will score a lot of goals at Chelsea and enjoy. At Arsenal, when you speak of Aubameyang, Pepe, Lacazette, Martinelli, Willian, you know. Again, these guys have had poor form from their own. But when you scre scream them... If you didn't watch Premier League, you would be shocked to hear that them and they are ninth for goals. So that tells me the manager, on top of the players, the manager is not necessarily an attacking manager or not necessarily that right now or not necessarily getting the best out of his team. So why would I want to move to you? I don't know what you're doing from a sporting perspective. Not really sure how the manager can improve me. Not really sure how he's going to utilise me, you know. And that's before we, you know, the only thing I think we could probably do is agree personal terms. I don't think that would be a problem. Inter Milan are broke. They probably are not in a position to offer him the wages we can. So at least uh, if we're going to exploit that, then it is what it is. But the guy's hot property. I'm not going to lie. He's gone off, the, despite having a good season, he's gone off the boil a bit. But, you know, allegedly we've continued our ambitious recruitment drive by recruit by reportedly making an approach for Latoro Martinez. OK, we've made an approach for Martinez where we clearly know we're not going to pay. We've bid it for Locatelli, who has no intention of joining us the hour one's gone quiet you know whether we can get older guards another thing based on the linked fc we're signing some uh, renato sanchez as well based on the linked fc players we're signing some great players some fantastic players players that are going to take us forward the problem with being linked and rumors is they need to correlate to the reality the reality is with respect to Lakonga and and tavares as said here for 22 million nothing to do with him them they're the only two players that have come through the door, you know, and you, you hear they're trying to get Ramsdale. We know Ben White will probably complete his move. Allegedly, his medical is today. This article has also said Mikel wants a striker before the end of the window. And apparently Tammy's on the shortlist, but the Champions League dem winners are demanding 40 million, which I don't know if we're going to be able to do that, people. And apparently we all know it's been a, it's been a, you know, a loan inquiry sort of thing. Ashley Cole's England under 21 assistant gaffer, whether he deserves that or not. And we need to decide what we're doing because surely you can't bring another striker in without sorting out, you know, even in the 23, sorting out Tyrese John Jules, you know, getting Eddie and Ketty off the way. Eddie should be easy to get off the way, to get off this books. You know, he's a young guy, just needs an opportunity, whether he's going to be amazing or not. Lacazette's an issue, clearly, because if I'm Lacazette, Unless a club that's playing in Europe and all of these things offer offer me something, you're in no, you don't really want to leave because no one's going to match them Arsenal wages for one. You know, you when you become a free agent, you make yourself more attractive. Obviously, the financial landscape that's been affecting society like football with COVID could change in a year. You know, you never know what sort of situations could arrive and find yourselves in as a as a free agent. Like I'm not saying it's going to happen, but the pay, I'm pretty sure many few people expected the pay to somehow end up at Barcelona. I'm not saying them things there are going to happen for Lacazette. I'm just saying there's no interest. The only thing I could see. You sign a one year, you, you know, one year extension, you'd still would still be in the same a year from now in the same territory in that we need to move him on. Um, but you'd have stability knowing that you're here for another season and Arsenal maybe put an option of an extended year into that. But I can't until we get rid of some off offload the players who need to go, much less Lacazette and Eddie who need to go. But there's other pressing priorities. I can't see where this is coming from, people. So, like, I, I, I really can't see it. If I remix this again and see if anything new has come out, apparently, you know, let's see what's happened here. Let me mute this because I don't need no copyright problems and stuff. Apparently, Latoro Martinez has already made his feelings clear about his future admit Arsenal noise. Are you not prepared to have your heart broken, people? Let's see what he said. 
Apparently, he's not phased by speculation surrounding his future as he's linked with a move away, according to his agent. Um, let's go, let's scroll down. You know, when Messi was asked about the possibility of Martinez joining Barca, he was full of praise for his teammate, insisting he is a complete striker. Bro, you can't go from getting linked to Barcelona, Man City to joining us. And it, it pains me to say that, but we have to be honest of where we are, bro, people, bros and bro desses out there. Um, or bros and sis out there because we have to be real, it can't happen. We know he's spectacular, he has impressive qualities. You can tell he's going to be a great player for me with Martinez. He's got the ability, he can link up, he can switch it up, but he's got that fire within him that that Luis Suarez, pardon my language, bastardry, like Eddie Guerrero lifestyle, just on anything to win, sort of thing. Let me scroll down because big up Messi. Last time I checked, Messi weren't his agent, though. Apparently, according to Mondo Deportivo, surely for Luti, it is a great compliment from the best in the world. I think that is very nice and comforting for him. He wears it as if it's nothing because he's only focused on his club, but surely with great satisfaction knowing he's doing things very well for this. Latura has a five-year contract with Inter and that news comes out are exclusive and the news that comes out are exclusively from the press okay so that that's that's where you're that's where you're at with them people you know that's where you're at with this they're all saying the same thing 442 is also saying the same thing um apparently the 23 year old is one of the targets being considered by edu as we know it'll be difficult to prize them away you know he's got a fan in a day and age where you don't really see excelling partnerships at, at up front like is it man said like is it lukaku and, and martin has made it work and he's off the high and for me what makes it difficult it's a world cup year you've had a great year you know at inter and for club you know why would you not that you're ruining it but it's a it's always a risk to you know it's a risk staying but it's always a risk to move midway through or, or on the impact of what could be a world cup season for you and in an impending world cup season stability might be crucial and like i said for him you you wait it out a year for inter you keep doing what you're doing and you go to the world cup the other people will be interested you'd imagine real madrid sooner or later have to make a significant recruitment drive you know psg might lose mbappe you might they might be on to you a year from now you you never know with City and Chelsea and all of these things. Inter Milan might go off to do bigger, bigger and better things. And for me, pardon me, he can leave Italy a champion. But part of me thinks, yo, I've just won. If I'm him, I've just won a league title. But I want to win it again, or I want to chuck it to Juventus again because Juventus are going to recruit. Let's try and do a thing, you know. Let's see what we. Let's see what can happen. So I can't see it happening, you know. Away from just speculating and telling you my opinions on him. Clearly, I think the man's a good player, but I cannot see it happening. So it is what it is in that regards, folks. Please let me know what you lot are feeling in regards to that, people. But for me, I can't see it happening. But we can dream in it. The dream is free. Everything else is sold separately, man. Really and truly. So, yeah, man, what are you lot saying? Big up, DG, for the work rate. Big up, you lot, for the consistent support, man. Only Arsenal channel I watch. Appreciate your work, bro. The Sweet Corn Kid, I appreciate that, man. I really do. It means a lot. Please watch some other ones, though, man. You know, because there's a lot of good creators out there. You know, Curtis does his thing. You know, Turkish does his thing. You know, um, uh, Jess from She Knows Arsenal does her thing. Big Gunner does, her thi does, does his thing. Uh, Wax Online. Uh, there's bare names, man. There's hella names, and if I ain't said your name, and I know you're listening, and you know we're cool, don't feel any sort of way. It just has to, it just has to come, come to me, people. There's a lot of good content creators out there, a lot of good people, man, that just need the sh the light shined on them. And hopefully next season, with some content I've got, hopefully I can do a thing. Is Martinez the finished article and a massive improvement on what we have? What are his strengths, weaknesses? Weaknesses, I'm actually not sure, but I think his movement, you know, the runs off the last man, his link-up play. I'd say a weakness is sometimes he needs to pick his battles rightly. As you know, that fiery temper can go against you. But um, definitely not the finished article. There's a lot of development to, to do. But I do think he's an upgrade on what we have. If Aubameyang was scoring goals, that would complicate things. But he... At, this current moment in time, he's a class above Aubameyang. He's definitely better than Lacazette. He's definitely better than Enketia. Martinelli and, and Balogun, they're still young, young Gs, man. Lacazette would be a deadly duo, but let's be honest, we need to focus on other areas before getting another striker. Facts. We aren't getting Latoro, no chance. He wants Uncle Footy. We are done. <laughs> Uncle Footy. How are people watching the game today? Not a clue. From one stream to another, DG's on the grind today. 100% every day we're getting it. 
Personally, Martinez is a bluff unless we do a swap deal with Bellerin with hefty cash. That's a point that went over my head. Maybe if you offer Bell uh, if you offer uh, Bellerin, that might shave 20 million in theory off the price tag based on we hear we want 15, 20 million euros, which isn't the same as 20 million pounds, obviously. So maybe, but if I'm into it's a bit like Leicester with Madison. I'm not trying to hear you swap Maitland Niles with me. That's 20 million off. Man need peas, bro. Like real peas. And especially if Inter are broke, they need peas. Like they prob they've sold some Inter Defo have sold someone. Who did Inter sell people? Inter Defo sold someone on my cap in. They've Defo sold someone. Who did Inter sell? Or they're trying to sell someone because they're broke. To be fair, if we was buying anyone from Inter, I would have loved Screenia, to be fair with you. Laka plus Bellerin plus Cash could get us the striker, assuming they'd all accept it. Assuming, you know, Bellerin, who's at 26 years of age, probably last real time to sign a big contract like that, would want that. And I'm sure Inter won't want to pay him that. Lacazette, you're not going to, you know, he's in a good opportunity in that he's able to probably secure one last one when he's approaching over the hill, assuming they do that as well. Big up the Twitch gang. Make sure you're all subscribed on Twitch, people. As I said, Q&A this Friday for Twitch. I'm looking at... I don't know yet, people. I, I need to... There's a lot of things outside of this that's affecting it. But for the YouTube gang, your Q&A will be there. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it tomorrow or Friday, but it will be there. Please check out the, the community tab. Just, just keeping up there. There'll be information. There'll definitely be it. it. You know, if you're not a YouTube member and them things there and you want to take in my content, then the only way, and you want me, you want to ask questions consistently, the only way to do that in my q and is via Twitch, the Ludi Guna. So make sure you're, su you're supporting the thing via Twitch and obviously make sure you're checking out the DG merch, both, both links of which have just been posted. So yeah, I can't see Martin this happening. But what you said, Latoro is just as talented as a young Aguero. I think, I can't lie, I think a young Aguero at Atletico is better than him, but that must be nostalgia. Um, is as talented as a young Aguero. He just doesn't have the clout Aguero has for special moments, but the Copa America and the Serie A must raise his CV, uh, raise, sorry, his CV a ton. It would do. It would do, man. But I don't, I, I, I don't know, man. I can only comment what I see and... Signings like this, you're gonna be pessimistic because you know for them you've got to, you've got to simply force the boat out. There's no reason to logically sign for Arsenal Football Club, you know. And I think most even the diehard Arsenal fans would admit that. So you have to force the boat out, in my opinion. Whether we do that is another thing. If you do that, then you can get anyone. But like people have said, there's other areas to address. We're not in the Champions League. There's so many things going against us, you know. Seeing is believing. I'd love to be proven wrong. But I just can't see the man signing for our football club. It's as simple as that. Please make sure you hit the like button if you haven't. What else are you guys saying? Big up, DG. Big up, DG. You know, one love to the nation. Can't lie. I'd cash in on Eddie and Laka for Martinez in a hot minute. Remember, Aubameyang only has two years left. You know, if it's as easy as that, why not, man? Enjoy it while it lasts, broski. I stopped playing ball for years and now looking back at it, but the regression is real. Facts. Going to have to let most people go at a loss, some at a large loss to clear the decks. A decade or more of poor decision making on player quality fees and wages coming to a head. Exactly. And that's what I mean, see, when I always say to, to you lot, we never got here overnight. It weren't just one window we did a lot of madness, although wasn't there a window we signed what? Xhaka. I'm sure Zach, it, it might have even been different. You know, I'm pretty sure Perez, Mustafi. I don't think Xhaka was that window, but you get, um, you get, you get where we're going in it. You, you know, it was like you said, a decade of mismanagement, even the last five years of mismanagement. So by that logic, it's going to probably take you five or so years to get out of such. So you're right. Like you, it's just about starting that process of learning from our mistakes, whether that happens or not. Um, I'm not sure, man. He hasn't, well, if that's a shocker if he hasn't, but I still think he's a bad boy baller, man. What else are you lot saying? Last season, defence is not our problem. We are third in the league best defence. And I mean, I, I hear you, but that's not exactly true because when you look at minutes we've held on to goals, minutes we've conceded it in the latter stages, minutes we've conceded a goal at the start of the game, how long we've held on to leads, you know, the errors leading to goals, these all play a part in defensively, you know. Yeah, we finished third for clean sheets and you're right, there is something to build upon, but it's, you know, would you say we're the third best defensive side based on what you see? Do you have faith that once again, we're going to be within the top five among clean sheets i hope so but I, I wouldn't say that so i would uh, you know it depends what you it depends i think both of the issues but i do feel you in that we're massively underperforming in the final third because again by that same logic we're ninth for goals we should never be ninth 
You know, whatever we say about any of these players in our attacking lineup, you know, there's some of the best in the league. And I'm not saying the best to gas them. I mean, if you be real, if you're a defender or a fullback, you don't want to play against them. Same way you don't want to play against many others. So there's a lot to do. There's a lot to do. And it's not just Abamian. Abamian's missed a lot of chances, but you know, there's been a lot of bottling. You know, Kieran Tini, you know, Abamian, Lacazette, Pepe, even Smith Rowe. But Tini could have had about 20 assists if people finished their 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 um their dinner. But the same way, as much as I think we're missing chances, we're not creating mad chances again. You know, there's times, we, but we're, we're literally, we might create 10 chances, one shot on goal, one shot on target, and people could sit here and say it's clinical, but it's not. So there's a lot of things to be considered, but you're right, man. There is something to build upon, at least in the final third. In, I mean, in the defensive third, in my opinion. Arteta has shown me that if you get this Ben White and things like that, I might see an even more improvement defensively. You know, what I haven't seen right now is as it's as easy for me to say is you get this older guard, you get this James Madison, you get um, Awa, you get Latoura Martinez, you get any of these attackers and we're automatically going to improve in, in, in the final third. It's not. Because us being ninth last season tells me that the players need to arrest what they're doing wrong, but also the managers either coaching the wrong things or coaching inappropriately or a lack of final third coaching. And I think a lot of it is because Arteta doesn't trust these players enough. And I, I think you have to find trust, but I also think he's warranted in that because of the numerous mistakes. I think that's why he's very defence reliant and defence heavy. And when we've won big games or done commendable things, it's because we've done the mighty Ducks underdog thing rather than being on the front foot. I do, on one hand, I don't believe this, but on the other hand, I wholeheartedly believe you, you know, when we improve this midfield, or better yet, he improves that midfield because it's all on our tether. When he improves that midfield, you know, when the defence can defend better, when we defend better from the front, I do think you'd see the handbrake loosen up. And a byproduct of that would be obviously more creative freedom in the final third, more muscle memory and stuff like that. Because we're just relying on individual moments of brilliance. Our last game of the season, you know, a little goal, fl goal flurry with Pepe and Cole. West Brom, the same happened. You know, Chelsea, the same happened. And when we win, everyone shuts up, shuts up about it. When we don't get the result, only then there, does everyone want to dissect it and all of these sort of things. So it is what it is in that regards, people. Um, yeah, big up the 500 of you locked in. Please make sure you're hitting the like button. Here from Texas, Brandon, big up all the Texan ones, Texas ones locked in. Um, why do United get Varane while we get White? Because we bought White and they bought... Um, Varane, it's as simple as that. That's it. I knew some. I knew they sold someone. They sold Hakimi. I couldn't think of it at the time, but yeah, man. Man said Lokonga slash Z ceiling, Vieira, Gilberto Silva. Let's let the two young lads develop. None of them have played two games, 10 games, let alone two games officially. You know, let's not do what Arsenal fans do in that we say man's the next this, that and the other and then call them overrated. Uh, Aziz is nothing like Varane and Gilberto, so it kind of already disrupts that. So, yeah. But good enthusiasm, though. Love for everyone who was saying, Akimi, Akimi, you lot on me, Akimi, Akimi. One love. You see why I like you lot? Anytime you lot see I'm stuck or I'm in trouble or some help is needed, the man don't come and support it. And the ladies as well. I don't want to keep saying man, them. I'm very conscious of I keep saying that. And I know there's a lot of women that take in my content as well. Bro, Jess is certified. Jess is, uh, Jess is very good at what she does, just like with anyone. And I look forward to, you know, her being on my channel and me being on her channel a bit more. So got when taking, she knows Arsenal and them things there. You know, the only tricky thing is that obviously, I don't know, again, geography is poor. So is it exactly the other side of the world? Uh, other side of the world? I mean, she lives on the other side of the world then, isn't it? She's in America. So obviously it's tricky. When it's late night here, stupid o'clock there. When it's stupid o'clock here, it's whatever there. But we make things happen, innit? And there's... I don't want to talk too much in it. Ain't no ex baller or nothing, but there's there's a certain individual you lot always talk about. Ah, oh, you lot should do content, man. You lot should have done this and do that. And I might have a little something for you. I don't want to talk too much, but there might be a little consistent something happening. So is what it is. I don't have a clue what time the game's on. I just hear a lot of rambling and and talk. I don't know if it's to happen, man. You're the only level-headed. No, I'm not. 100% I'm not, my guy. I'd love that. Well, I wouldn't love that to be. 100% I'm not. But I appreciate the praise, man. There's a, Like I said, there's a lot of good content creators out there. As you lot know, right now, we're in an overly saturated space where acting a fool gets you the clout so they don't get seen. But it will happen, man. I don't know what time the Arsenal friendly is, my guy, man. I love how honest you are about Arsenal situation and not being deluded like most of the Arsenal fans. Hey, man, there's a lot of good Arsenal fans out there, man. 
Lawas, man, but I appreciate that. DG, this is just paper talk. We as a club have nothing to offer him. Facts, man. And for me, at least if Arteta, you could sit and say, yo, he's the in improving, man. Like, he can improve, man, and it's a bit, bit of a Wenger thing. You could get away with it. But I don't see any significant reason for this young man to sign for the club. So, it, like you said, it's just paper talk. But what I always say, psh, it's just something to talk about, isn't it? Like, we'll talk about the next one we're linked with tomorrow, isn't it? And for me, it's just an excuse to be online with you lot and speak about something and get your opinions. But you're right. He's never, never say never, but he's never joining us, man. He is a different profile to what we have. I don't think he's had a Bayou esque, but I think if anything, a Lacazette is more like that out of the two. But I appreciate that. You know, we could do a cash plus Bellerin deal for Martinez. It has to be significant cash. You know what? I think 40 million is too much for Tammy, but at the same time, I don't because he's 23. You know, I do see him as he might not be anyone's cup of tea. He might not be, you know, the link up play and all of that sort of stuff. But I do think he will be a 20 league goal striker in the Premier League if given a chance. So 40 million isn't the worst of things to do for that. The problem is with Arsenal, is he going to significantly take us above? I'm not sure. We only need a striker if Arteta doesn't want to play over there. Big up RP Entertainment. Go and check out his YouTube account as well. I know he does a lot of good videos, but I would say you're right and wrong. I'd say you're right because I think you play a Bamian there, he's going to get back to goal scoring ways and you double down on him. I'd say you're wrong because Broski, nobody scored. Listen, you know, I don't know if Lacazette's going to show he can get 20 league goals or show the Lacazette that was in the second half of the season. I back a Bamian all the way to return to goal scoring form and that, but I don't know for true if he's going to carry that on. Balogun and, you know, Martinelli out of the other two strikers, Martinelli for me is Project Martinelli through the middle. There's going to be teething problems. Balogun, I think he's doing all the right things in pre-season. I think he's moving good, but he ain't played 10 Premier League games. I don't know what I'm going to get for him. Sometimes he's going to probably come on, score a great goal and he's amazing. Other times he's going to miss a goal that I've probably seen him score at 23's level every day of the week. And then the other team go back and score, go, go ahead and score in the other end. These are the sort of things that happen with young players. So I do kind of think we need a striker and we need to arrest it. I do, like I've been saying, there's more pressing areas. You know, at the end of the day, Lokonga and Partey is the midfield partnership. If something happens right now, based by default, something happens to Lokonga or Partey, what's going on there? There's still Xhaka on the books. There's What's happening with Xhaka? What's happening with Leno? I've personally given up on the right back now. I don't think it's going to happen. I, ho I hope it was. It's just, and again, links are not the same as the club, but I do think there's, 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 there's no smoke without fire. When you see that, you know, we're linked with the Swallow right back. We're linked at the start of the window. We're linked with this right back, that right back, this right back, that right back. Then once there has gone away, now you see a logic that, you know, Cedric has been amazing in pre-season. Obviously, Chambers, fair play to him, had a good year. Maitland Niles, he might accept being fullback, you know. I hear it with all of them. I just think we've left it, you know. I don't mind Maitland Niles and Chambers doing it. I don't mind either or being a backup. But for me, I would like a right back because I think there's too much what I call storyline players here. We've been having it, you know. I like, I admire Chambers for coming back from his injury. He was good before his injury and he's come back. But 38 games, can I bet on you? I don't know. I like you in the squad. Am I going to bet on you strongest 11 sort of thing? Probably not. Maitland Niles, if you accept right back, I'll give you every opportunity. But I'm quite tired of it now, completely. I love Maitland, but I'm tired of it. Cedric. I don't really rate Cedric. I can't I can't really lie. Like Cedric's not really inspiring, but that doesn't mean anything. If you do a consistent job, I don't really, I'm not convinced with you. Now, I don't think we're going to get a right back because, you know, Bellerin is Bellerin. We're not going to be able to palm these guys off or do what we need to do with them. So I think I've had to accept a right back is not landing. So for me, just get Ben White over the line, you know, address the midfield and we'll take it from there, man. Make sure you've been, since, the, like I said, the day Aubameyang signed that new deal, you've been assessing who is going to be the striker one day, you know, because you've had, by the end of his contract, you would have had a three-year period to assess that. You know, and, and we should be shifting away from over relying on Aubameyang. Like you saw last season, very dangerous when you rely on one person. And we all know Aubameyang is a quality player, but he has been overperforming in the Arsenal shirt because he's been working with scraps. He's been doing nonsense and it happens, isn't it? You know, he's had to be dealing with nonsense. So it happens. So hopefully he gets back to goal scoring ways, but is where it is. We went everywhere with that Martin and stuff. You see why I like you lot? Because you lot get the creative juices flowing. You lot make me look at things from a different perspective. Like if Martin, if Martinez has really never got 20 league goals in Syria, in, Sy in Syria, I'm looking at it like, Row. I don't think we've missed out on a a um, Andre Silva. I think he's good, but I'm not really levels with him, man. 
I can blame them because again, you have to convince them and you're in that spot really and truly, you know. And if you can't get same way, if you can't get the goalkeepers that I believe in, then bro, we've got a Spaniard and a Brazilian man. What are you man doing? Like so Edu, you should have the link in South America. We should be seeing more links with players that truthfully we don't know fuck all about, sort of thing. Um, you know, I know we got Marie and he worked at he is Spanish as well, and he was at City and he went South America, so you can kind of see maybe how Edu and Arteta and all the collaborative things, but I ain't really seen like no Spanish man linked, you know. When you when you know when Nuno's at uh, Nuno's at um Wolves, and I know Mendes is there, hella Portuguese man. I'm pretty sure a couple Portuguese man will follow him to Spurs, you know. Sorry, obviously Jorginho instantly couple see a couple more Italian links and, and things like that. So can, I'm not even necessarily talking about La Liga, is there, you know, Pedri, you know, you found him, he was at Las Palmas, he was there, and obviously them man, they are generational in that, but he was at Las Palmas, and in the matter of two years or so, he, or, or if that, he's badding it up. Can you find people like that now? Can you find, a, a, you know, an equivalent to Ben White that would have cost 15 million, not 50? Can you find a striker that won't, that will cost 7.7 .7 million, not 77 million? It's easier said than done, but this is why we need to do this thing, really. And I've been a bit surprised. And obviously, I like Premier League proving it shows ambition, but you could say on the flip side, is it lazy scouting when you see us throwing 50 mil on Ben White? Now, I, we've been linked with Ben White for years. I'm playing devil's advocate. I don't think it is, but... One full season in the league. You know, Ramsdale relegated twice, 30 million. They're not a Spanish or Brazilian man out there that can do that. And I'm not saying Ben White or, or, or Ramsdale are good or bad signings. I'm just playing devil's advocate with you lot because all I, I, I do think it shows ambition same way it probably doesn't in that in that regards, man. So, yeah, please make sure you're hitting the like button. We're on fire today, man. We're, we're on fire, man. This is amazing. Time is flying, but I don't care because we're going to be here until everything's done. Please make sure you're hitting the like button. You're subscribed on Twitch. You're getting your questions ready mentally. You know, big up Jason because he became friends with me on, on, on Twitch and asked the question. I've purposely not answered it, so we have our thing there, man. Um, So, yeah, big up, everyone. Let me see what you lot are saying, man. Didn't exactly say he didn't want to come to Arsenal, but it's not. It's a myth here, man. Big up T. Where you been, man? Where you been? Arsenal fans were begging for Martinez. So, Ed, you said, I got you. Bro, I don't know, man. Pretty sure Inter were asking for 100 million a couple years ago. And obviously, what's followed in them years, things have happened. Not happened. I mean, things have happened, didn't it? You know, Jaden Sancho was 100 million. Man, have to hold a 77 or whatever now, isn't it? So it is where it is in that regard. We'll be really surprised if we get Martinez, not only because Inter stated that he's not for sale, but also because Barca has been flirting with him. So he may want to wait until next year. The thing with Barca, again, I, th I think you're right, but they've just signed a Guerrero. He's going to be there for like two years. You know, I'd still, I don't think it's really relevant, but it is something to consider 100, 100%, man. But, you know, Martinez ain't signing for this club, so we can leave it, but. Defo and we defo had an interesting discussion between us all in relation to that. So this is why I like to talk about these signings, whether they're unrealistic or not. They get the creative juices flowing. They pass the time. Our teams aren't playing. So we might as well talk about transfers, etc. What else do we have? Falling down, though. Bro, I'm still... You lot kill me. The bear people just started saying Hakimi. <laughs> Zachariah is a, is a more realistic deal and would be a good pairing with Partey plus his price tag is likely to be more manageable, manageable than Odegaard but you know Zachariah doesn't help us in a sense of he's not a bad player but you know we've got Partey we've got Lokonga you know his passing Zachariah's passing has improved within the last two years in my opinion but he's not going to ever be known for that so he's not going to really help us so I don't think Zachariah is going to sign I wouldn't mind him but it is what it is I'd rather I'd rather us get Odegaard on loan again than get Zachariah and Abraham as Martinez would not come here over City and Chelsea. I mean, I'd rather show, I'd rather Martinez or nothing over Abraham. I would, I would take Abraham, but I wouldn't personally force the boat out. In relation to Odegaard, you either, for me, you either take Odegaard permanently or you forget about it because he's got, a, he's going to have, if he returns, to in, if he comes here on loan and goes back there a year from now, he's going to have a year left on his deal. If I'm Real Madrid and you are to go out on loan, I'm actually saying you're not going nowhere until you sign a new deal. 
uh, or you're trying to sell him. So you know what what the the best case scenario is that obviously he comes for he comes on loan, he shells it, you know, gets mad assists, gets goals, dictates the tempo, has a great time. But for us, we wouldn't learn our lesson. We still probably would not get. Uh, uh, an obligation to buy or buy clause or anything like that so essentially we'd be nurturing someone else's product and if he has a good season you know everybody's talking about him and things like that with a year left to run other prem teams might buy him real madrid might give him an opportunity other teams over europe might buy him essentially we're the only ones that would be shortchanged if he stayed and he in that year he helped us get champions league or europe he's done his job but we're not seeing any bread from the move we're, we're, we're going to have problems over our creative, man. And you know, Arsenal, we'd probably rest up putting our laurels like we did this year that Odegaard is going to return, which we keep hearing he is and then he's not and all of these sort of things. So, you know, Odegaard on, Odegaard, Odegaard, sorry, on loan doesn't help us, in my opinion, is perm or nothing. I, I I can't lie, man. I don't agree with some of the terminal like certain people you talk to about Odegaard. You talk you, you people ask fans acting like he's some scrub. Like he's a baller. I know we all want Madison, but don't talk like this guy ain't thirty. Like Odegaard's a good player. Like I I would be ecstatic with Odegaard. Obviously, I can understand it because we've had Odegaard in an Arsenal shirt. He's been here on loan. He is our player. Wait, well, he's not our player, but it would feel like it's our player returning. It would feel like a new signing, like certain other managers said. Well, obviously, Madison, 65 million, Leicester, it gasses you, it gasses the fans. Yo, Arsenal are serious, this, that, and the third. My thing is, regardless of if it's Odegaard, Alwa comes into playing the eight, Madison comes, that's not going to solve our issues, you know. It helps because that's a tool, but the tool is only as vital as Arteta gets, um, gets, um, can get out of him, you know. And we haven't been using the tools well enough, you know. We've got hammers, we've got no nails, we're buying nails and there's no hammer, you know. So you're not going to be able to do the jobs per, per, properly. And next season, that's where I want to see it. I want to see a proper partnership in defence, in midfield. I want to see a growing relationship with whoever is the right back and whoever is the wingers, whether that's Pepe and Saka and the same thing on the left. And obviously, you want to see the final third players, the front four, the 10, the two wingers and the strikers, you want to see them combined in. I don't want to see the same usual suspects of Saka linking up, Smith Rowe and Lacazette. I want to see that, but I want to see other people getting involved. You've seen it on occasion with Pepe and Odegaard and other people, but I want to see that all the time, you know. There's a lot of things that we need to improve at. A lot of things, but I'm telling it. Time will tell, folks. Make sure you're all hitting that like button. Apologies, people. I'm actually just... Don't flop me, bro. Oh, you're boying me. You still ain't replied, bro. We're meant to be doing this an hour from now, blood. Oh, that's a spanner in the works. Still can't talk too tough, but man is always trying to get some good content for you lot people. Always working, even when I'm not on YouTube. You get me? Brother, James. This is why I rate you, James. You know, bull. You also know I can't pronounce that Donny's name, but the Florentina guy, I like him. I like him. Again, like I said before, a big up S as well. Vlahovic. Again, let's 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 plug that. I like what I see. For me, I'm not gonna lie, I need to see one more season, one more year of this certified stuff. And then I'm with him because for me, he's quick, he's strong, he can do the playmaking thing like that. Not really Lacazette, but he can do up the Lacazette thing. He can be a pure goal scorer, you know. And he's someone, I don't understand why Chelsea are linked with bagger strikers, City as well. Now, let's not be naive. They've probably scouted him, but that's someone to look at. And I think one more season for me, because I see too many of these strikers, they have a, they have an amazing season. And, you know, I've seen it with Jovic. I've seen it with Payontek. I, I've seen all of this stuff. I'm not saying he's going to do that, but I'd say one more season for me and he's confirmed that he's certified, but he's a very good player. The problem is a year from now, the other teams might be involved because exactly, James, like I just said, sometimes one more season might pr price you out. Like I said, Juventus are moving a bit broke. Juventus's P's might be 30 next year. And you know how they bully the Italian league. We'll have you, you know, other teams will have you, will have you. So fully agree. But for me, I can't sit here and lie to you lot. You know, I, I can't, I, I would take him. I love him. I think he's a baller. You know, he signs for Arsenal. I'm going to be happy. But in my heart, I think it's a one more season thing. You know, I can't, I, oh, there's a lot of players I, I sit here, I like, I speak about them, I gas them up. But you always hear me say I like someone. But it's, it's for me to say I want my club to sign you and all of these sort of things, I have to have 100% confirmation. And for me, I've got, there is some weaknesses in this game. There's a lot to improve at, of course. He's confirmed it for me. 
one more year, just just one more year. But James, as you said, it is one more year might be a myth. Saying that, you you've got to be honest. Under twenties World Cup, I saw Latoura, Martinez, and and Haaland. You know, I get a lot of things right. I would have missed out on Haaland because I think Haaland was playing well, but he weren't wowing me, sort of thing. Like he's beating up shit teams. Pardon my language. Uh, thingy. Um. Thingy, uh, Martinez, sorry, he didn't set it alight, but I would have went for Martinez. I would have, not that I would have said Haaland isn't good, I would have wanted him, but I would have probably waited and assessed him and stuff and I would have missed out on him. That's the funny thing about football, you know. Apologies, people, the rain's moving mad. But yeah, that's how I feel, man, really, really and truly. That's 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 where I'm at with that. Let me set the time stamp, man. Big up everyone locked in. Please make sure you hit the like button. I'm still here, folks. I'm still here. Please make sure you hit the like button. There's 595 of you. We should have at least 500 likes. You have not hit that like button. Arsenal are not signing anyone. Bear bad things. Apologies, people. I just want to see this ring. Boom, boom, Yo. Hello, rain. Hello, rain. Hey, we meant to have training. Hey, I know my gaffer's watching this. Are we still doing training later? It's raining, you know, brethren. It's a mad thing right now. But um, yeah, man. Jake said, yo, DG, been watching you for a while. Finally managed to create an account about um creating an account. But how are you? Jake, I'm like I always say, I'm fantastic. I got a good platform. We're getting better every day. I got you lot that are providing value. Like I just like I always say. I got my health. I hope you lot have got yourself. You lot have got health. I can't. I can't say anything else. My man said this lad transferring to AFTV gym. Psh, Robbie can't sign me, bro. I cost too much peas, bro. Shout out Robbie, but I count too much peas. Can't sign man, bro. Man's man's higher than Mbappe and that, bro. Like you get me, because man do this football thing, talk about football, and if you you know if you want me to sign for AFTV and you want things like this. <laughs> And bro, this isn't good. This is gonna be expensive, bro. Man, no, no about no transfers. You get me? I don't know about that. You get me? Not no funny man things. My goals are so good, they're making grown man scream. Madness and the galleys too, of course. Both with come. I love it. But um, yeah, moving on from all of that and gassing up my head now. You know, my head is looking a bit big now and it always does on the best of days. Let's stay on football. Um, I think we should get Odegaard if we can get him cheaper. I'm happy with either one, bro. I love Madison. I love Odegaard. But if getting him cheaper means there's more bread for me to go to a right back and all of these sort of things, I'm all for it. We got the Twitch gang. Odegaard permanent deal will cost how much considering the economy and Real Madrid's financial situation will reduce the price? Uh, for me, he's probably going to cost, bro, he'll probably cost anything from 35 to 50 million euros. And I think Real Madrid might let him go. Anything past that, if you're going to spend 60 million euros on Odegaard, then just to spite Real Madrid, I might, you might as well just move on to Madison, really, because the whole point is that we get a deal. For me, what makes the, what, what would make, make the difference with this Odegaard stuff is, is he for like who said it? I think it was Mr. Adlib 23. Is he 30 million euros or pounds better at this moment in time than, than um Odegaard Madison? I, I don't think so. I think people are overrating Madison. And what I mean by that is please don't misunderstand what I'm saying. He's a great player. I just think Arsenal fans do this thing like we've done with players that signed for this club. We make out like they're the only ones in the world. We make out like they're the best in the league. We make out like they're they're on a platform. They're not. We you know we take it far. He's a good player, but then we start moving like they're mad to the point where people are turning up their nose at Odegaard in comparison to Madison. And I'm not saying you can't have your opinion. You know, what neither is clear of the other. People move like Madison is up here, um, Odegaard's down there, and some do the same where they're they're kind of here until Odegaard has a really prolonged breakout sort of consistency for seasons, and the same for Madison. It's not there because people move like Madison ain't got no weaknesses. And I'm not like I said, I'd prefer Madison over Odegaard just because I'm more on the hype train. I'm not gonna lie to you, lot of people, but it is where it is, man. Big up my guy Khan. We ain't, you know, shout out to him, cool brother, and actually know him in the flesh. We ain't nowhere near ready for the start of the season. Facts, bro. What I'd say to that is, I hope, I hope them Mandera, I hope, I hope them lot are, I hope the players are, I hope whatever tactically our, our Teta is demanding. Sorry. I hope we are ready. 
I hope they're I hope they're ready. You know, I hope whatever he's demanding of them, inverted fullbacks, overlapping fullbacks, this that. I hope it's sorted because there's no hiding place next season, bro. There's nothing. There's no excuses for no one. If Aubameyang ain't scoring, it's not a nice place. If Arteta's moving iffy, it's not a nice place. You know, we can't. Have, it's Arsenal FC. We can't afford to carry anyone really, really, really and truly. So we need we need to get it right. You know, there's a lack of signings. There's a lack of outgoings. You know, players that are still on the books and players that were key players, they're still, based on Arteta, there's still elephants in the rooms that need to be addressed. For me, it's only pre-season, but it's not pre-season in that you look at the start of our, year, our season in no order. We've definitely got Brentford first. We've got City and Chelsea um, to come very early. I'm sure you've got Spurs and we all know the fixture list isn't kind. So for us, you can't do everything. I'm not asking for everyone to be signed and everyone to go and things. I know football does not work like that, but the the bulk of our business, because when we went into Hibernian, there should have been a base level of what we're trying to do. Then we see it improve against Rangers and then so on and so forth, because every game is a cup final for us because we need to kind of hit the ground running. You're not going to see all the fruits of all the labour, all the fruits to our labour of pre-season at the start, I'm not expecting us to train for a couple of weeks and then we're looking like Barcelona of, of 09 and that would love it, but that's not how it happens. The benefits of pre-season will probably be seen towards the winter months and, that, and, and beyond that, but it's about hitting the ground running and for me, it's unclear. You know, I'm I'm sure those that are involved in the club, the analytical man, the coaches, everybody would say something different. But to me as a fan, based on the minimal case studies I've seen, I haven't seen anything to, su to suggest something's going to change. And when you're doing the same things and, this, you know, the same things are going to happen, you know, it's literally insanity doing the same things over and over again and expecting change. So I don't know. In relation to transfers, as hopeful as you can be as an Arsenal fan, I am quite, I am hopeful because a blind man can see we need to make signings and I do think the club might surprise us, but maybe that's just blind optimism as a football fan, um, which probably is, you know, seeing is believing. Whether we do it is a completely different thing. So we'll have to see. But like you lot said, I hope we're ready for the start of the season because no one can protect you lot. You know, there's going to be fans in the stadium now. You know, I'm not a fan of the agendas making out it's just our terror or it's just the players. We win, lose or draw together. But we can't protect none of you. None of you lot have to protect yourselves and you lot have to stand up to be counted this year. Only the players and the manager can save themselves. I don't think, how can, you know, Odegaard, I don't think he's overrated. And I definitely, you know, who is good enough for Arsenal? Because our, our things are on the floor, my guy. Um... Our, our, our abilities on the floor. I don't think he's overrated. And to be fair, if anything, he's underrated by fans. And to be fair, even an overrated older guard by your logic, psh, I think he improves Arsenal and gives us something. You know, people throw this overrated thing around too much without any base base level, man. Of course, I would take Renato Sanchez, but it's it seems like that one is gone. Um, is what it is. I don't know how he's overrated, man. A United supporter, but I just love listening to man. I appreciate that, my guy. You know, we're fans of our well, I'm a fan of football first, then the club, man. Ivan Tony ain't got enough about him for me. Still rate Cedric, just don't think he's been given a consistent run at right back. Fair enough. I, I just want to leave them ones alone, man. Bro, Chambers is my right back if we start it. Bro, it's Chambers and Maitland now if nothing if nothing happens, man. You know, if nothing happens, that's that's what we're doing, isn't it? Like, and for me, I'm like right back. I know the game's changed, but you must can do a job of scouting and find someone, man. The club found Sagna. I know it's easier said than done, but there must be a little low profile man that can be sourced and brought into the club. Like, not everyone has to. Now everyone has to have these mad names and these mad clout. Same way you grab Lokonga, you're telling me you can't find a little 20 year old that's able to grow and he's got a good base level to work with and, and these sort of things, man. Surely, like the scouting has been lazy at the club at times, man, in my opinion. And saying that I can't sit here and list bare names to you, but my job is not to do that. These men have all these stat DNAs and all of these things and the sheer manpower and hours they should be looking for, man. But I hope we're ready for the start of the season. If not, it's a myth for certain people. Odegaard would take less time to settle and should be less than matters. I'm not sure because 
I think it's about even. They both played in the Prem. Granted, one was only there for six months and one was there longer, but I don't think you can underestimate that little six months. So I think it's about even, man. I think Arteta just, I think Arteta wants, you know, I think he wants what anybody wants. I think he wants a striker that scores goals historically like a Bamian, but you're able to drop deep and do them Lacazette things, you know. It, that, that's what I think he wants because that's what that's what City more or less had with the exception of Aguero. Remember Michu? Nah, he's definitely not Michu, but I hear you, man. I don't know what's I don't I don't I don't know what happened in Trinidad, but you know, without doing research, if anything mad has happened in Trinidad, my thoughts and prayers are with the Trinidadians out there. Obviously, hope you're all in good health as as relative as you can be, and hopefully there's no casualties and all of these sort of things, man. Yeah, Madison, uh, Georgie one foot. I don't know what you're on about, but fair play to you. Love for the super chat. Arsenal need one world-class player. Could be in his 30s, but that player could bring the willing mentality. Any player that comes to mind. <sighs> what, is this a theoretical world? Um, mentality. See, the thing is, I, I'm wary of these mentality monsters. I, I cop out, but I like Pogba, even though it couldn't happen. You know, I don't think one man's mentality can change this thing. Like, Tini's got good mentality, in my opinion, but he can't, one man can't change it, or it just seems like a parent moaning at a, at a kid. You know, how many times did your parents moan at you lot? And then something, and then, and then you got it, sort of thing. So... You didn't necessarily take it in when someone's moaning. I think with, with the way we're at as a squad, people have to. It's a self-education thing now. These lot need to need to come to their conclusion themselves. Anyone that wants information in relation to our Arsenal preseason game, you know, we're playing Watford. I'm probably going to do a stream for it. You know, you're not going to have to give me some time to pattern it. But um, yeah, we'll definitely do a stream. We'll definitely do a stream for that. It's Arsenal versus Arsenal versus Watford later. From 3 p.m. So I'll definitely do a watch along for that. Let me actually stream yard. Obviously, I'm gonna, you know, do the thumbnail when that, but let's go. No, I want it to be a new one. Arsenal. Sorry, Watford versus Arsenal live watch along. That one's there. When is it? 3 p.m. So we, we I should have enough time to pattern that. Yeah, let's leave it at that. Put a bada bing, bada boom. Slap that in there. People, I'm gonna just drop the link for you lot. Now you see the work rate. Didn't even know. You see the work rate indirectly a third live stream, people. I've dropped the link in the description in the in the live chat for you lot. So please make sure you're taking you're taking that one in. Um what I really should do is see. Big up everyone who's locked in, as I just said. What I really should do is see if I can redirect you lot from this video to the next one. Ooh, maybe I'm asking too much. Hit the redirect button. Swing that one across. Change that up. Choose specific video. Watford versus Arsenal. Watch along. Press the save button. You're done now. I should change it from three o'clock, man. Let me say, because wait, why did I say three o'clock? That's when the game kicks off. I'm bugging out. Let's say 245, man. Let's say 245, man. Man, I have to give me some time. Like, I have to make it work still, but um, I always make it work. But yeah, man, let's crack on. Um, what other news have I got here, people, to speak about? Um, keep your opinions in that coming. Please make sure you're hitting the like button. One oh six. Well. 108 10. Uh, let's see what transfer news there are, there is now, people. Let's let's get into it all, man. Let's let's knock some make some 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 progress because we've loved it. Um, what's going on here now? When you look at Odegaard, let me just type in so I remember Odegaard, Lacazette back to Leon, we'll look. To Monaco, yes, we got. To, we clearly were pressed for time, people. We got to get a move on still, but um, you know, anyway, I don't know. I'll go on for this Odegaard thing in it, you know, Ben White as well. But before we get into Odegaard, you know, Ben White will quickly cover it. As you lot know, details are emerging in relation to 
match is how much we're paying. Ben White to Arsenal transfer breakdown as fee, salary and contract length details emerge. We're set to sign him from Brighton. He's apparently undergoing a medical. He should be undergoing it today because it is Wednesday, Ben White day. Um, Arsenal will reportedly pay the £50 million to Brighton for Ben White in three instalments with the player set to sign a four-year deal. There apparently is an option of a fifth. Um, Arsenal identified White as their top target earlier this summer. I'd be surprised if they just decided this in the summer and didn't have a, you know, all season be thinking of this. A 23-year-old was part of, of Gareth Southgate's Euro 2020 squad after being called up as a replacement, didn't play a game. We know he didn't feature and we're actually not here for that. We're not here for talking about Pepe. According to Duncan Castles, allegedly the fee is a guaranteed 50 million, which is the second highest transfer fee ever received for an English centre defender. 30 million of that will be paid within one calendar year to Brighton and then two more payments of 10 million in the following season. So for this season, he's, he costs 30 million uh, and obviously his wages. Um, there is over 5 million of performance related variables depending on personal achievements for Ben White at international level and club achievements by Arsenal. So obviously in an ideal world, if we qualify for the Champions League, lol, win the Champions League, double lods, you know, win Europa if we ever get there. You know, if he gets called up by England and wins stuff for England, there's obviously money to be made. Um, So, yeah, maybe we've done a great job because, we're, well, fair enough, we win FA Cup. We're not Spurs. Them and they don't know about trophies. But um, we might have finessed them. Whenever it comes to winning major trophies, if we don't do that, you're not getting your bread. So we ran off on the plug. Apparently, he will sign a four-year contract at Arsenal, assuming he passes the medical. His salary will be around six million. And uh, yeah, so, as it said here, it will be a significant investment. So, no, no disrespect to Ben White. I hope they get it right because if we that's that rhymes because if we sign him and our defense is looking out of place and whatnot, man are gonna say what's going on with Ben White. You need to know how he ties into the short, medium, and long term. Know his strengths, and I care about his strengths, but you need to bloody know his weaknesses because how are you going to improve him? 23 years of age. He's not going to be the defender. We, you know, he's going to have good moments, but he's also going to have difficult moments. Varane signed for United. I remember when he got bullied at a set piece in a, in in a, in a in a, in, a, in a World Cup. I'm sure against Germany's um Germany because it was Hummels. How much did that help him develop? You need these moments. You're not going to become a good striker if you're playing against crap defenders. You're not going to become a good defender if you're not going to be exposed. And Arsenal, we're going to be exposed at times, and so is Ben White. And like I said, we need to know his weaknesses. Everyone has weaknesses. It's just about minimising those weaknesses and improving them and maximising what he's good at, you know. And 50 million, you need to know. And I can't lie, when I look at Ben White, you know, you've got Ben White, Saka, Smith-Rowe, Martinelli, you know, there's young players he's got to work with, Gabriel. And at times you've looked at it last season and gone, what's going on with Saliba? What's going on with Nelson? Why is Gabriel drop? You know, even the major players, like five, you, just because you're old doesn't mean you're older doesn't mean you can't improve. How are you improving Partey? Tini says you can improve him and whatnot. How are you doing that? Now, if Partey, you know, if Partey and Tini say that they love the manager and whatnot and he's improving them, fair play. But as a fan, I need to see it. Um, moving away from Ben White, though, and getting into Odegaard, you don't know who to believe, but apparently Arsenal are definitely interested in bringing Martin Odegaard back to the Emirates. Arteta is a fan for the right money. I would imagine Real Madrid would be happy to cash in. Apparently, a final decision from all parties are going to be made soon. So it's not over until the fat lady sings. This is probably one that's going to run into run into and ramble until the end of end of August because it seems like every option is on the table and maybe our club knew about that um when you look at it like this it said I've been getting a few questions Odegaard and the reports from Kadana SER suggest that he wants out and that Real Madrid would be open to selling him allegedly Lucas has said my understanding of the situation is that Odegaard not only will stay in Madrid, but he'll also be an important player. Maybe he wants more clarity. Maybe, you know, he's got two years left on his deal. Maybe a bulk of these things are happening because he wants to or doesn't want to sign a new deal. I don't know. Um, so we'll have to think about that one there. Moving away from this, people, moving away from that, Cedric Suarez has been linked with Fenerbahce. Apparently, um, Fenerbahce wants to make it clear. Re this is Google Translate. Re re reinforcement, sorry, for the yellow, dark, blue team. The striker and right back who had a quiet transfer process this year. Let me scroll down because Google Translate isn't making it make sense. I want to scroll down to Cedric. Apparently, they can't afford Cedric. They want him on loan. Apparently, um, we've they've signed Coker and Sergio Dusk. They never signed Coker. The Coker I'm thinking. Apparently, the Portuguese manager Victor Vitor Pereira wanted the right back area. 
And again, Google Translate isn't being nice. Apparently, Cedric has popped up as a suggestion. Cedric, who is expected to be one of the prominent names of a new system that Pereira plans to establish in the yellow, dark blue, became one of the names that the experienced technical man wanted to finish his transfer from the management. So again, you could play under a fellow Portuguese man and play significantly for a big club, which is Fenerbahce, in my opinion. But they're not going to... I don't know if they're going to take on your wages. They clearly don't want to pay a transfer fee because, as I said, this report says he's on loan, people. Um Pardon me, he's valued at six million euros. Apparently, Arsenal will be offered a lease with an option to buy, and the player will be offered a salary of two million euros. People, now I don't know if Cedric will go. There was talk of he's playing amazing in pre-season and things like that. So I'm not too sure. Um, we've spoken at lengths about that. Um, if we get into Joel Willock now, folks. Um, you know, this guy who was a journalist over in France, apparently a major reason as to why Joel Willock has been linked with Arsenal is because there's issues around. Um, Leon trying, Leon trying to, um, Monaco trying to buy um, Lucas from Leon. As you can see here, while the track leading to to Gene Lucas is not moving forward for the moment, AS Monaco is, ex is exploring the case of Joel Willock, the 21 year old Englishman who has already has a solid CV with 54 Premier League appearances played since the start of his career. He'd be a good signing for Monaco, and it obviously you you know he'd be an Englishman playing abroad. The tax laws are probably phase very fav favorable for wages in Monaco. Obviously, maybe not so much now, but you know they well they have they have Tushamani who I wanted at Bordeaux. They sign young players, they try and develop them. They're not really significant of like now, but it's a good platform to build upon. So I don't know if it's going to happen. You know, one minute it's Monaco, then it's Newcastle. Um, his future needs to be decided. And I don't want to see this drag into August because indirectly it, it, it will, but it affects what we're doing or crucially more scary for me, what we're not doing. Apparently, AS, AS, AS Monaco are in talks with, with Arsenal midfielder Joel Willock, who spent the second half of the last season at Newcastle. He's still under contract for two years, so obviously we need to decide what we're doing. But with talks for Leon, man, um, Lucas at a standstill, um, Monaco are looking at um, alternative midfield options. The club is looking to add another recruit to current Tuchamane Fufana drill, which impressed in the middle of the part last season. True, two very good players. I think they signed Fufana from um, Strasbourg, another good player. We know Willock had a good loan spell with Newcastle last season, so we can remove that. And again, it all depends where you read because you go on the Scums website, Arsenal starlet Joel Willock wanted by Monaco with French giants ready to rival Newcastle in transfer battle, which provided everyone wants to take him permanently, that should be good for Arsenal because a bidding war for our players, which don't typically hear happen, should lead to more money and whatnot. According to RMC Sport, Monaco joined it, people. But again, he just seems like a, a, a no, another one on the list. And as it says here, Monaco finished third, five points off the winner's Leo. And then you've got Newcastle. Newcastle is a big club, but that could be something to explore. Um, apparently, however, on the topic of Newcastle, allegedly they're increasingly hopeful of signing Joel Willock on another loan deal and expect a decision from Arsenal in 48 hours. So hopefully we can see some progress around dealing with Xhaka's future, Joel Willock's future, and also Lucas Torreira's because it, we need to clear people off the books. These lot can continue just being footballers relative to what they want to do. And obviously, we can start to see our squad take shape because there's still two weeks or so before the window starts. It does scare me that there's no confirmation over midfield with the exception of we know we're playing party, we know we're playing Smithrow, you know. Uh, Lokonga's just been brought into the club um, and then they will probably see out his co his contract here but again it's quite concerning for what it's worth Newcastle are increasingly hopeful of signing Joel Willock on another season long loan from Arsenal Steve Bruce has been pushing for an answer from the 21 year old and Newcastle expect to know within the next 48 hours sounds like he's always calling him should the move go ahead they're also hoping to move for Marseille midfielder but Bubaka Kamara, Kamara he's got a year left he can play at centre half as well in midfield and he has been on the cusp of things since 17 years of age they have been looking at allegedly Conor Gallagher and obviously Axel of, of, of United so they're looking at stuff um, when speaking about Joel at last week he said you know of course we want him back he did great with us and gives us another dimension in midfield and we haven't got I mean, that's more bullish than, you know, Arteta's a fan of yours, but that's more bullish than I've ever heard Arteta speak. And there's something to be said of playing under player managers that really, really rate you. So that that's that's that anyways. And as you can see, you know, he's of in, once again confirming he's of interest to Monaco. Um, whether these things happen is another thing. Uh, moving away from that, again, I don't know how true this is, but Lacazette's been linked with a move back to Lyon, people. Apparently, we want to recover 17 million. Now, for Lyon, I don't think it's going to happen because I can't see them taking his wages. Obviously, being a Lyon man and stuff, money might not be a thing, but a football career is short. 
I would be looking at cash and money. So money and the length of contract are probably something that says no to Leon. I'd be looking to get him on loan if I'm Leon, as they allegedly tried a year or so ago. So I can't see him going back to Leon for the, for you know, I just can't see it happening. But if he does, then obviously that's 17 million banked that you can put towards other things. If we're getting 15, 17 million for Lacazette, I'd rather him just leave on the free because we're not going to bring in these strikes. We're not bringing in Martinez. We're not bringing in someone who's better than what we have. We're not going to bring in someone where... I don't want to praise someone for having link up play and work rate because you should have that if you cost 50 million. But the strengths he has in the squad are vital. Sometimes, you know, I want Martinelli and Balogun to get every opportunity under the sun, but you need an experienced man and he does have collective strengths that can help help us over a 38 game period. Um, he hasn't been the Lacazette we thought we was getting because six months into it, we did sign a Bamian, but you might as I think he'd be, you know, we'd lose money. And if you look at it on that, of course, okay, cool. We've looked, we've took an L, but I, I just see it'd be more vital to keep him and be part of the team because we're not going to bring in something that's better. That's just me anyway. So it is what it is in, in, in that, in that regards, people, what have we got here? In case you want a bit of bants, apparently Arsenal goalkeeper transfer in doubt after Mickey Arteta's side failed to agree loan fee. Renison has failed to complete his move to Turkey people over the, a loan fee couldn't have happened. People, you know, it is what it is. He was expected to travel to Turkey this week before signing for a season long loan. And then obviously young Arf was going to be our third choice keeper. Um, however, it isn't, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. And, you know, Renison played no part in preseason and the young G He's got tuck, got game time ahead of him, people. So it is what it is. Runners and move breaks down. So it is what it is in that regards. That's that's them, really. You know, that is them. Please make sure you're hitting that like button, folks. And you're obviously making sure you're at the next watch along. Because again, I've got to go off and do that now. Really. So yeah. What else are you lot saying? We've got a bit of time. That's deep. Bit harsh on Laka. Arsenal showing the game for free. Make sure you're there, man. Yeah, you're right. Same report. What else have you lot got? Yeah, man. 3 p.m. Let's say 2.45, really. 2.45 would be better, man. So, yeah, man. I don't... I don't... Line up is up right now. I need to pattern up the thumbnail, my guy. So, yeah, I'm going to have to love and leave you lot very quickly. Go and pattern that. And then we're back, people. As I said, you know, you can't, it's not looking good right now, but I'll be live in about 20 minutes as you lot, as you lot can see, people. So, yeah, make sure you're all heading over to that one. Shout out to the six, seven people waiting. The six people have hit the like button. Seven now. You know, I don't know what K AFC Cape Town has said. You know, I might just. You know what? I can't verify what you said. I hope you didn't say nonsense, but yeah, man. Is what it is. So yeah, make sure you're all there and I'll see you lot in a piece, man. I'll see you lot in a piece. Uh, I like OV, you know. the He's at Reading now last time I checked and he was in Scotland for a sec. He's a decent player. It is what it is. Your mother is swallowing my jizz. Is what it is. I'm watching it on Arsenal's.com, man. So yeah, man. 17 for Lacquer is a bargain. That's a shag. I don't know we're not getting Martinez, so I hope to be wrong, you know. I just don't think we're getting Martinez. But on that note, I'm going to leave you lot, man, because obviously we're pressed for time. One love to everyone that's been in here. I don't want to make it a hasty good goodbye, but I've got about 20 minutes to make that thumbnail, set everything up and be back here with you lot. On that note, people, DG, hit the like button. I'm out.